Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and last time we spent almost all of our energies trying to get this interplanetary launcher up and running so we could fire materials at the, all the different bases that we have over here. Three rocks, three rocks containing 12 duplicates around, spread amongst them all making their way into the future of as much convenience as possible. We've got a few things that we need to take care of today. The first and most important one is the fact that over here we have got ourselves a aluminium volcano that we did once tame. Unfortunately, the aluminium that was coming out was too hot for our gold amalgam thermo aqua tuna, hence why we've got the payload opener over here. It's full of steel, but we've got a problem. We've got a problem. We can't actually get it out of here. We need to build ourselves some conveyor rails going over here and then some sort of a chute. The problem with that as the game is telling us right now is we do not have a mechatronics engineer but we, we do technically have someone that keeps becoming a mechatronics engineer and then stops being a mechatronics engineer. One day maybe he gets to do the research that he loves but for now Sir Dr. Captain Subs Esquire the second needs to become a mechatronics engineer so he can empty all the steel out of here. Still that we're actually going to have a bit of problem getting soon. If we come over to your kill, one of the two asteroids that we started with, this was the one that we actually landed on to begin with, and then down here we have a teleporter that takes us over to Taranu. This Taranu deals with uh, all sorts of uh, oils and petroleum and stuff. We did have a little bit of an issue where we took a block out here, and despite the fact that the Abyssalite is indeed a non-thermally reactive material, it's supposed to be completely 100% insulative, it managed to turn a whole bunch of our petroleum into sour gas. It took its temperature way up to 500 degrees and created this, this horrific purple gas that is just everywhere. It's not what we like to have. Definitely not what we like to have all the way up here. Oh. But we've got a couple of pumps working through and they are pushing all of this waste gas up and out of the atmosphere. It's a shame to see the carbon dioxide leave because the slicksters do survive upon that. Maybe we could do some sort of dumping mechanism, but they would just be picked up all over again. Maybe here though, it could help flush. I wasn't planning to do this. Let's do it quickly though. Okay, it's simple enough. If it detects carbon dioxide, it will throw it out of the gas vent onto the atmosphere, onto the atmosphere, into the atmosphere, where it should hopefully percolate down, encourage the sour gas to also move down. I don't I don't know about that bit in particular. Uh, and hopefully move everything down into these gas pumps. Right, I didn't intend to do that. Let's get back to Yakil, where we have to deal with a problem. Over here, we don't have any iron. We don't have any iron ore. Look in the metal refinery. It can't make steel. This is a problem. A problem that we can't actually solve here. I know I was literally just going, oh, we don't want to be a Tyrannu. Actually, we do want to be on Tyrannu because it, it's covered in this wonderful substance. Where is it? Rust. It is absolutely covered in it. And all of this we can turn into some form of uh, iron ore and chlorine. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the chlorine. Maybe we can turn it into uh, some bleach stone. That would be great. To make bleach stone out of the chlorine, we would need to have access to puffs. Also, I really need to upgrade these guys' food supply. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. Okay, it took a while, but Dr. Captain Subs has made the conveyor chute. We're spewing out all the steel here. This is nice, but we're only going to have a ton. It's still not enough quite to go breaking in here yet, though the construction crew has come along to do some of the modifications. This is nice. I'm going to have to put some ladders in, aren't we? Okay, cool. One layer down. Let's get another one done as well. I'm not sure what it's going to mean for this, but we'll, we'll we'll figure something out. Maybe we'll build it back up again afterwards. Because, of course, we're going to have to dig these out. Oh, night time. Okay, fair enough. We wait. Okay, step one. Somewhere to store all the bleach stone. We've got a storage bin underwater. Beautiful. Step two, of course, is to get the rust oxidizer down. I think we're going to need two of these. Oh, we're going to want somewhere for the gases to go as well. Maybe we need to drop some of this salt water now. Okay, so the plan as it stands, put rust into the rust oxidizer, let the oxygen be free. Uh, we can we could probably even cut this gas line off here. Let the oxygen be free and then canister up all the all the chlorine. I don't know whether that's a thing. I've, I've tried to use this before. It's never quite gone well. Uh, if all else fails, there's a way of pumping stuff into rockets. Look, gas rocket port loader and unloader. We could we could totally fill up fill up a rocket, right? 
Okay, whilst we've got a few building errands going into that, we'll uh, see what's going on over here at this yellow alert. I'm getting everybody to bring as much steel as they can to the conveyor load of descent across to Turanu. Where, where is everybody? They, they should have been here by now, surely. Let's, uh, let's click the errands and find out. Well, Bishop's on his way, but Ripley is kind of going the other way. Wow, okay, lo long time. As you can tell from all the no pending deliveries, this is the last piece of steel available on this rock and we are going to send it skyward bound. Let's go to the status here. We're waiting to get little packets of 200 kilos, hopefully. Maybe the whole lot will be sent. Ooh, oh, it, well, we need a clean. Turns out we need to have a clean. 30 seconds to wait. Okay. I know it says it's cleaning, but it kind of looks like it's a feather duster building up a whole bunch of static charge. Do you not think? Anyway, let's send the 30 kilo pan packet. Can we, can we do that? No, it won't send that. Okay. Kind of like watching the uh, the bullets travel. It's a shame that it uh, only just goes out to the orbit and then goes, okay, we're just going to be there in five seconds. I would love to see it travel over here and then do another another step down. Uh, oh, okay, it's it's down, it's down. Oh, there we go. We saw it on the side of the screen there. Just waiting for someone to come along and unpack this. I've not seen this happen yet. Hicks is on it, though. All the way from over here. Okay, follow, follow Hicks. Let's see what's going on. I'm starting to feel, by the way, that Hicks might need to move to a different asteroid. We've got, um... No, not Hicks, sorry. It was so Dr. Captain Subs might need to move to a different asteroid. Uh, him and someone on Tyrannu could probably swap. No, no, not swap. He could just come over. So this is this is the rock, um, Tyrannu, where all of, my, all of my viewers are currently located if you will mm, okay yeah that, that's that's the only reason i was thinking maybe he could move because he doesn't quite fit the theme of this particular rock though he is very much needed okay here we go it's just working like a tin opener beautiful oh that's that's amazing that's amazing holding my breath though that's that's a shame okay and then the stuff comes out of the port over here great this now leaves us with as much steel as we need as soon as it trickles in and on that uh, on that little counter over there. If I press B and I come across, we can now finally build ourselves the upgraded aqua tuna that we are in need of. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to bust through here and see what we can do. Ah, uh, has that busted any pipes? Actually, hold up. You, you need to do this individually because far too often I end up ripping through pipe networks, and that's that's always bad. Okay, here we go. Is this steam gonna instantly turn this water into hot stuff, or are we actually gonna be able to pull out enough heat? to function here these are the questions i have is that what's going to happen here okay we seem to be fine for the moment i'm going to watch the temperature we're climbing but it's not climbing so bad that i'm that bothered yeah i think we'll be okay yeah the, the temperature's going down now the water is, is is spreading all right great we need to take out these interior panels here Oh man, so much stuff to be done in here, but we're, we're just we're just going to stick with what we can. Scolding is Hicks, that's fine. Probably should have set up an atmospheric dock suit whilst we're here, but you know, this this will be fine. I'm sure we can put a triage cot up somewhere. Okay, m m maybe things have not gone as great as they could have. Uh, yeah, de definite problems here. Uh, I'm not sure actually how we're going to get Hicks out. Can Can someone come and build this, please? Oh, this is going to take too long. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Sir so Dr. Captain Sub's going in to rescue Hicks. I mean, that's very commendable, but aren't you nearly dead yourself? Ooh. Okay, well, this might take a little bit longer than previously anticipated. Let's go see what's going on over on Taranu. Talking of more than previously anticipated, there's a lot more water than I was expecting. Okay, no worries. We can pump this out and move it somewhere. So we've got the thermal aqua tuner in place, we have the rails in place that are circulating everything around us oh, because we've got no power in there at the moment. But there is one thing we need to do, one thing we really, really need to do. This thing has not been analysed and the way that we're going to do that, we're going to come to a... I just, I just saw something about to happen in the background. No, stop, stop. That's not, that's not what we want to do. We want to come into the skills. Sorry, that totally threw me off there. We want to find somewhere in here. Sir, Dr. Captain Subs, we need to clean him. This is not what we need, but I do want to give him all of these. Unfortunately, as you can see, this is now pushed our morale way over the top. So Sir Dr. Captain Subs is assigned. Is he not in? That's not him in there. That's not him in there. <laughs> okay, we've scrubbed Sir Dr. Captain Subs clean of any skills, and we're going to finally give him the material, the research he's been after. We want field research, right? That's a, that's as far as we need to go for there, and then we can analyze this 
Let's have a look. Where are you? Number 56. That's a long way down the list. Let's get him right on it right now. Or, or we could have downtime. I, fine. Whatever. It's not like this is the most important job we've got going today or anything. No, 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 nothing, nothing like that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's a shame he's got to hold his breath so long. Yeah, that, that might cause us a bit of a problem. Can we change Dr. Captain Sub's priorities to mean that that is his highest priority? I sure do hope so. Where's the researching? There we go. Let's turn that all the way up and see what happens. Number one. Beautiful. Beautiful. That That's what we need. Okay, as this uh, aluminium analysis is taking so long, I've gone and started putting a... Je uh, an atmospheric checkpoint up. I've also got an atmospheric soup forge over here. We've got one being made, but I don't know. I don't know when that's going to happen. Oh, actually, that's maybe not. Let's let's do one of these instead. I also clicked the wrong button there. Oh. Okay, this should be a much more comfortable way of dealing with the volcano. On with the suit and into the analysis. Okay, hopefully this is going to carry on for just a little bit longer than the current. Oh, what has this taken? Three three cycles to get to about here that's that's not great but i should imagine this will totally turn out great now that we've got the uh, the suit on okay now we've got some information on the volcano we're gonna seal this back up beautiful let's have a look over 19 cycles until next activity that's not great but it's not terrible either 88 out of 125 so it's active a little over two thirds of the time that's great not quite great right now though that's a that's a bit of a shame but i suppose we just have to take what we get okay hopefully we didn't lose too much water out of the system we'll know in about 20 cycles when this gets up and running but right now as it stands i think everything here is now renewable i've just noticed that this has been taking some heat damage i wonder if we can swap it out for steel not yet not yet but we could get there I am going to stop, swap it out for gold amalgam because that's also heat resistant. If we come over to here, uh, it's only an extra 50 degrees, but that takes up to 125. If it's got over 125 in here, we are in bigger trouble than that. Okay, petroleum generator with its 125 degree overheat temperature. That should keep this going. We do, of course, need to at some point probably extend the cooling loop from here. Maybe we'll, uh, uh, as you can see, I've already started putting some aluminium pipes in. When we get some more aluminium ready to go, we'll run a little bit up here uh, we'll just go around cool all of this area down before just bringing it back and hooking it back on maybe with that in mind i could do things like open up this area here so we can jump jump but what else have we got going on let's get back to your kill because down here we need to get ourselves a suit delivered we can probably get one made just up the top here one out of copper sounds wonderful because people were coming down to oh oh what's happened What's happened with all this water here? This is new. Uh, people coming down to tend to the Slicksters, and unfortunately, they were getting completely scolded on their way down here. You know what? I'm going to kind of deal with this as well. I say deal with. I'm going to just throw in a bunch of mesh tile, and then hopefully none of this water will get... How did it even get... Ah, because I dug this out. But how did it get round the corner? I don't know. Okay, suit has been made. It's always an effort to try and get them to deliver the suit, though. If we come down to this, 114. I mean, we'll, we'll just get someone to do it very... It's always Ripley. It's literally always Ripley. Is she just, like, the fastest so she can get there the quickest? I don't, I don't know what the deal is there. Maybe she's just too used to having to do the stuff herself. Okay, so now that all this has been taken care of, what have we got going over on Taranu? This, of course, is where we're trying to get the rust oxidizer moving. One of the things that I've noticed has happened is we've, we've, had, a, we've had a backup in the water system here. Not the end of the world. Why is it not placing out i don't i don't understand make sure these are connected they are definitely connected okay let's try removing this liquid uh not this liquid pipe this bridge okay random has very nicely come along to do that job for us that's been taken out and the water yes now flows okay cool maybe, maybe we can pump all this out a little bit quicker now so just to remind you we're going to put all the rust that we can find into this rusty oxidizer that is first and foremost to make us a bunch of oxygen in fact we should probably put a regulator regulation on this input valve now uh how are we going to do that we'll have a powered let, let's have a look we'll have a gas shut off valve is that the one that is controllable i think it is we'll have that facing that way and of course we'll just split the line quickly uh and if we've got so much pressure here atmospheric pressure sensor if we've got so much pressure here then we'll turn it on as simple as that i i hope i hope it's as simple as that i'm sure there'll be some problems 
Also, we've nearly got rid of all the sour gas. There's none up here. There's none down here. There's just a little bit of pocket over there. I say there's none down here. We've got a little pocket of resistance there. There's a little bit floating around there. I'm not sure if we've got any caught in this area. But it looks like mostly... Now, that's hydrogen. What's this one? That's sour gas. But it looks like mostly we've dealt with it. Which means we want to change this one again. This pump got um, co-opted into being part of the sour gas recovery network. Now, we're going to move its pipes over that way. Let's just get rid of these excess pipes. And we want this to pick up natural gas. Not that I think it's got access to too much natural gas right now. It's all oxygen. It'll be this guy down here we're waiting for the natural gas. So crazy times here. I've got three solar panels hooked up. I've gone around and I've disconnected almost all the power transformers from this major spline. This one's gone. Even the food. I've disconnected the food from the power. But for some reason, this oh, they, they are now. Do you see? They're just not getting energy. And I don't understand why. What I'm really trying to do is get this guy to pump up a little bit of the crude oil. Look, there he goes. So that we can have some different power. Like power is what we're after. We, we, we badly need some power. I'm quite glad Clay hasn't put any sort of resistance losses into the heavy watt wire, else this would become a little bit untenable. But I've started going through and increasing the number of solar panels we've got over on Yakil here. We are producing glass down the bottom. It is being transported all the way up this ladder. We should probably figure out a better way, a better system than that, and being dumped into this conveyor loader, whereupon it gets teleported over to Taranu. This 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 little output here, you can see there's glass on the floor. We're waiting just for everything to get filled in here and hopefully we can then start running this place properly again I it, it, somehow somehow we must have just dropped below enough power to stop picking up the uh, the oil and then it was kind of a cascade as the uh, petroleum generator was the largest power producer that we had that shut down and everything else just kind of followed with it so uh, solar backup is, is what I'm hearing big big solar backup uh, if there's a dangerous way of doing stuff you know Eric's going to be there thankfully I think he's going to get his way out before randomers builds the solar panel over the top of him but that that could have got really awkward really quickly one of the few cases where we get to watch something bad not happen it looks like we may have achieved i spent all my effort just watching up here and seeing what was going on shuffling things back and forth because we're running out of food but it looks like all the batteries have managed to get themselves topped up and look the petroleum generator is turning over we don't have as much as i would like it's not backing up into this liquid reservoir here but the oil is the oil we've got a reservoir off so we just need someone to come and turn this crank here a few times and we'll be back to where we were beautiful so I'm going to be leaving some more solar panels to be, get built. But remember when we were doing something with some chlorine over here? I've got this rusty oxidizer ticking over. It's actually been making a bunch of iron ore for us here. That is the end goal after all. We want the iron ore to turn into steel. But we're having a bit of a, bit of a chlorine overflow issue. They've got so much carbon dioxide down the bottom here that it's actually flowing up and over down here and collecting down below. Now, I, chlorine is just a waste gas. We, we need to get rid of it. So I've got, I've got ripping out this pump and stuff and we're going to put the gas pump in and see if we cannot do something a little bit more useful with it I'd, I'd really i'd really like to get a puffed ranch farm on a uh, puffed ranch on the go so that we could turn it into bleach stone and just store it underwater uh, but that's probably not going to be happening for a little while as our puffs are all the way over on shirubi and anything bad happening here now all the way over on shirubi i suppose we could just kind of nab one and rocket it over but that that's that's gonna be a whole episode's worth and you know it so until we do that yeah we're, de we're definitely gonna have to see if we cannot get this pumped out and something a little bit nicer done with it i think the carbon dioxide's just gonna go out to this gas vent here vent it off into space but the chlorine itself i'm not sure Here's the waistline. We can just send it that way. Down the bottom of your kill, I've ripped out all of the sour gas pumps and just replaced it with this one guy here. It's kind of in, a, in an airlock, if you will. He's waiting to detect carbon dioxide, at which point he will turn himself off. The only carbon dioxide falling down at the moment is from up here, though. So I am a little bit worried that actually what's going to happen is we're just going to pump this entire area dry. But I'm, I'm kind of all right with that. We've got too much chlorine down here. There's sour gas. Once we get carbon dark side in this light this little area here it should just stop maybe okay that should be all the major pieces in place we're just gonna pump out all the carbon dioxide like i say we've got the we've got the waistline going here oh it's still pumping let's see what's going on down the bottom here 
Uh, it's still pumping waste gases. That's fine. That's fine. We've still got a bunch of chlorine. I'm not really looking to get rid of the natural gas. Maybe I want to put some sort of secondary check in for that. But at the moment, this carbon dioxide being taken away, that's good. I'm going to put this mesh tile here and replace it with a door so that we can get down and uh, to, well, tidy all this place up and change the gas pump and whatever needs doing. Okay, that's the last of the carbon dioxide. I'm going to use the pliers mod. I don't really use it that much, but I'm going to use the pliers mod here to break the line and we should be able to... Oh, oh, there's still waste gas. No, no, no. Let's, let's, that, let's let that keep going. Ah, it's going to be oxygen now, isn't there? Maybe we need a filtration system on this one as well. Or, as always, gas element sensor to the rescue. So I've been wondering what to feed these guys on Tyranno from ever since the farm collapsed over here. And I think what we're going to do is use some long-haired larvas. These guys feed off of oxygen, so I'm going to put them in the old hatch farm over here. Is anybody coming to work on this? I think I've put it down to have the eggs delivered, but oh, it's so low priority. Let's just get people on it. Okay, Honza very nicely come along and brought the two lava eggs lava eggs into the area. I had to rip down the fooding place to uh, to uh, make this happen. Uh, we're just going to let these hatchlings starve. Uh, uh, we, we wanted them to stop anyway, so in a few cycles, these long-haired larvas... Oh, I say a few cycles, it's going to take a little while. These long-haired larvas should be ready to start. First, keeping our guys feeling happy because they do a decor bonus, but secondly, providing some food after a while. You know, it's going to take... they got to grow up and then, then die and stuff like that. Though we are making meat off of these guys down here, which works out quite well. Is Era actually using this? He's just kind of stood there. He's got the little tooltip saying he's using the oil well, but I, I'm not sure that the oil well is doing anything. We've got a bunch of natural gas. It doesn't appear to be depressurizing. Let's see if we can just move him. Is that, is that better? I, I don't know. The automation's fine. I really don't know what's going on here. So I can only assume what it actually was is the back pressure release threshold was set too low and any lower than, I don't know, I'm going to make up a number and say 50%, the oil well doesn't actually want to outgas and so I've put it up to 80%. I, I have no idea what number it would actually be. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully this means we're not going to get stuck with a uh, duplicate just stood here not being able to actually do anything anymore. Another thing that was happening was because we had put in such a heavy, uh, heavy solar panel backup, um, we were having a situation where we weren't producing any more water of course one of the things that we do here is we burn hydrocarbons for water as you can see it all comes out here this liquid pump picks it up and we clean it and scrub it that was uh, unfortunately stopping so i've had to set up a system down uh, this way i've got a battery on the spline side i've got a transformer on the power producer's side the battery says hey we're only going to turn the solar panels on or we're only going to let the, the power flow if we're at less than 40 percent power which works out really well. It works out really well. We've got a two a kilowatt generator over here turning over when it needs to. Spews out a whole bunch of carbon dioxide. We're slowly but surely being able to replace all the carbon dioxide down here or rather flood out all the materials that are down here with a carbon dioxide. But the important part, the most important part is our rust oxidizers over here are doing 100% their job. You can see we have got iron ore coming out of here but more importantly this means that we have got iron ore coming over to the metal refinery where we are producing steel. As you can see we've got a whole bunch of... oh that's all copper on the floor. Where, where did the iron go? <laughs> they must have used it up. There was a pile of iron there whilst I was looking overnight. Uh, as you can see we're making more iron as we go and that is being fired over to Shurubi where I've actually set up another one of these power saving systems because we're making uh, water from our power here but we have been producing uh, nearly a four tons of steel there. We were almost completely out which I think well, I'm gonna say Thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we will be coming through and trying to put a bunch of these tamers around. I've got another aluminium volcano in here somewhere. There he is, another aluminium volcano there. And then we've got two gold volcanoes over here to tame. So I think that's going to be our, our plan for next time. Fire the materials off and have a wonderful time. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. Oh, of course, the long-haired lavas, they're, they're, they're back there. They're just... We're going to have to wait some days. <laughs>